Transgender people are Americans, and because they are, many feel you know an, a, a responsibility to help defend and support this country. Uh, I'm a I'm a uh, honorably discharged military veteran, and it was my great honor to, to serve. Vanessa Sheridan said she served four years in the United States Air Force. She's a transgender veteran who had to listen to this news. Begin with the president's pronouncement on a major military policy decision, a pronouncement he made on Twitter this morning. Transgender service members can no longer serve in the military. The unexpected move sending folks on both sides of the aisle scrambling, leading many to ask, what comes next? The next step is simply to educate ourselves, to organize, and to continue to resist in any way possible so that we can build momentum, move forward until we achieve full equality and full equity. It's another day for Sheridan. She's the director of trans relations at Chicago's Center on Halstead and implements transgender awareness training services for the workplace. What I try to do is to get people to see each other as equally valid human beings. I think if you can give people factual information and put a human face on the issue, all of a sudden the fear tends to dissipate. And when the fear goes away, then we can just start to treat each other like normal, normal folks. And here are the facts about working transgender Americans. They are four times more likely to have a household income under $10,000 and are twice as likely to be unemployed. One in four transgender people have lost a job due to bias, and transgender people of color had an unemployment rate of four times the national average. Discrimination causes almost one in five transgender people to experience homelessness at some point in their lives. It's Sheridan's goal to continue serving, but this time she's fighting a different battle. There's so much opportunity here and the promise of this country is so great, but until we get our laws in alignment with that promise, until we get the reality of people's lived experience in alignment with that promise, we have more work to do. The military said it will let transgender people continue to serve until the White House officially changes the guidelines.